Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you all know, I have already started posting YouTube videos on Tricentis Tosca test design specialist level 1 and level 2 concepts. So if you would like to watch my first video which I published a couple of days ago, please do visit my YouTube channel displaying on the screen and then I would recommend you to come back to this video to understand more about the concepts which I am explaining in this session. Coming to today's session, this is our lesson 2 on Tosca Test Design Specialist Concepts. So in this session, I'm going to teach you three different concepts. One is how to create a basic requirement structure in Tosca 2. And the second one, how can you perform a basic weighting of the requirements by using Tosca tool. And also, I'm going to teach you how can we weight the requirements with frequency class and also the damage clause. Okay, so I have already published my first video by explaining some theoretical concepts. I would recommend you guys to go through that video before you watch this particular session. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on Tosca concepts. So any software life cycle begins with defining requirements of the software to be tested, which means identifying the criteria which the system is expected to fulfill. So this criteria means these criteria are the system requirements. So basically we are deriving system requirements by identifying the criteria which the system is expected to fulfill. So how many types of requirements? So we have two different types of requirements. One is functional and the other one is non-functional. The functional requirements are the functional need for the application. Example, ordering any e-commerce. If you go to the e-commerce site, if you want to order a product, you can order the product by using credit card or you can order the product by using cash. So these are all the options that we call it as functional need for the application. What about non-functional? Example, what is the response time of this particular page? Or what are all the different security rules that have been applied for the login? So basically, which are non-functional requirements. Okay, so I'm covering some of the theoretical concepts in this session at the beginning and later for sure I'm going to walk you through the actual Tosca application and then I'm going to explain all these theoretical concepts by using an example in Tosca. Okay, so we are concentrating more on requirements in these sessions like previous session and this session because we will we are going to create requirements and we are going to weigh the requirements and then we are going to perform risk-based analysis for the requirements by using Tosca tool. Okay, so that's the main concept. So that's the reason I'm explaining more about the requirements. Let me cover some more theoretical topics before I start actual practical session. Okay, so what are all the different method development method methodologies that we are currently following? So there are two different types, right? So basically, what do you mean by defining requirements? So defining requirements allows both developers and the testers to have an overview of what processes and functionalities are needed by the project or by an application, right? So 
the metal methodologies that we are following are waterfall approach as well as the agile approach for waterfall approach the requirements means defining all the requirements of the release for entire application that means in waterfall we will be defining the requirements at the beginning for entire application whereas in agile approach this means defining requirements for a specific sprint or a build release so that's the difference so however these two methodologies being supported by tasker you can perform these two methods basically you can perform requirement analysis weighting of the requirements risk based analysis for both waterfall methodologies and also agile methodologies okay what are the objectives of the requirement section so we need to understand what are the objectives of your requirement phase so your objectives are knowing your requirements that needs to be tested and also risk assess your requirements to cover the most important functions and to know what to test first that means you will be assessing the risk of each requirement and then you will be prioritizing the requirements based on the require risk and then you will be testing accordingly and also this means determining the level of risk associated with the failure of a particular requirement means if any requirement is failed what is the level of risk that is attached to that particular requirement so that you should know and also you need to create dashboards and gain control over your testing project and also keep the test project up to date during project progress or during project life cycle so all this can be achieved by using tasca tool how i'm going to explain you risk based approach tricentis tasca recommends risk based approach and it supports risk based approach in effective manner so by keeping track of what requirements already been tested the test designer will have a good idea on the project status and also he can analyze how much business risk has already been covered and how much business risk is left to test and developers can use risk weighted requirements to prioritize the functionality and to prioritize the bug fixes and also the risk based approach ensure the minimum amount of risk for release of our application that could cause a loss or a damage basically you can deploy your application to the production with very minimum amount of risk so all of this is possible by using tasca tool so how do we perform all these tasks by using tasca tool so first we'll create requirement set and then set up a lean requirement structure and we have to risk weight the requirements and then link other sections objects to the requirements like the test cases execution list and test case design and then track progress by continuously updating these linked objects that means you are linking requirements with test cases and also you are linking requirements with execution lists and also you are going to link the requirements with test design test case design steps so this is how you can link all the objects to the requirements and keep track of the progress and you will be creating reports out of the requirement section for management so all this can be done in tasca tool shortly i'm going to walk you through the tasca tool to explain these steps 
So before you begin the physical setup in Tosca, you will need to determine the best way to gather your requirements. Basically, your organization might have defined a best practice in collecting the requirements, in determining the requirements. So that you have to identify first and then start collecting all the requirements and requirement structure in Tosca tool. Requirement structure. So how does the requirement structure looks like in Tosca? So if you see on the screen, on the diagram, the first folder represents a requirement folder. It's an organizational element in the requirement section. So it looks like a Windows folder in yellow color. And then requirement set, which is notated in two triangles overlap to each other. And this is a required parent element detailing a requirement structure. And then a requirement, which is notated in yellow color triangle under a square. So this is an element to specify either a structure of the element or a requirement. So Tricentis Tosca highly recommends to first create a folder structure in requirements section reflecting the system structure or a testing process. And then within these folders, the requirements will be organized within the requirement sets. These requirement sets contains groups of requirements which represents the different aspects of the application. Hope you all understand the requirement structure that we are going to create in Tosca. Shortly, I'm going to walk you through the Tosca tool. Okay, so this is my Tosca tool where I'm going to show you the how to create a basic structure in Tosca requirement section. So later, after this particular structure creation, I think uh, I should be able to cover rest of the topics like weighting the requirements, uh, basically a basic weighting of the requirements and also the weighting the requirements by using frequency class and damage class in next session. Okay, so let me start creating the structure. If you see here, the requirement section is notated in yellow color with a Windows folder image, right? Under the requirements, first you have to create a requirement structure. That is means requirement, you have to create a folder structure. So let's click on, right click on the requirements folder and then create folder. So let me re rename this as backlog. And then under backlog, again, I would like to create another subfolder. 1A basic, basic structure. Okay. After this, I would like to create a requirement set. So how does this requirement set represents? With a overlapping triangles, yellow color, right? So just click on this create requirement set and then you just need to name this as a web demo web shop. Okay, demo web shop. And once you create a demo web shop requirement set, now let's create two requirements. One is customer tasks and the other one is handle products. Okay, so if you he if you see here, on right clicking on the requirement set so sho shows you to create a requirement which is a single triangle under a square right just click on this create requirement and name this as customer tasks and then again right click on the same requirement set and create another requirement called handle products okay so under customer tasks, you need to create a lean requirements. That means detailed requirements for customer's task requirement. Okay. So customer tasks in web shop are register. And then again, you have to click on this requirement and again, create another lean requirement, which is login. 
and then modify customer data and then again I'm going to create another requirement check orders and then for handle products requirement I have to create some more lean requirements right one is right click on the handle products requirement and then create another lean requirement called product configuration sorry product configuration and then again create another requirement modify products view and then I have to create another requirement compare products so in generally in any e-commerce you can compare the products right compare products that's the requirement and I have another requirement called search for the products search for products so what I did here first I created a basic folder structure called backlog under folder structure as I explained you you can create a subfolders which is 1a basic structure and then under 1a basic structure subfolder I have created a demo web shop requirement set and then I am creating requirement high level requirements two high level requirements called customer tasks handle products and then I created sub requirements for each customer tasks product and then the sub requirements means lean requirements are register login modify customer check orders in the same way we created some more sub requirements for handle products requirement okay hope you all understand how to create a basic structure in Tasca so like this you need to create some more requirements the other one is under requirement set create a new requirement called shopping cart that means all the requirements related to shopping cart will be stored under this subfolder sorry this main requirement and there is another module or another requirement called order process order process that means ordering of the product comes under this order process requirement so you need to collect all the requirements related to shopping cart under this shopping cart requirement you need to collect all the lean requirements related to ordering a process e under order process okay at the end your structure looks like this if you see here your entire structure looks like this So this is your entire structure of the requirements for a particular project. So leave about this right side part I am going to explain you in the later sessions. So if you see right side there is a frequency, damage, weight and contribute. So I am going to cover these topics weigh, weighing the requirements and then weighing the requirements based on the frequency how can we weight the requirements based on the damage class all these concepts I'm going to explain you in the upcoming session okay so hope you all understand the concepts very clearly if you have any questions please provide your comments in the comment box please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon so that you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos on Tasca concepts thank you